and the efforts to level the playing field. Implicit bias exists in all parts of society. A key part of the American dream is home ownership. It's one of the ways many have passed down generational wealth, but many people of color have long complained of being locked out of that dream. Decades ago, banks refused to lend to minorities, but today, the issue is implicit bias. When you have a person of color come in compared to others, you know, suddenly the perception of risk, that inherent risk is there. This is Dr. Sri Sundaran, dean of the School of Business at the University of South Florida. He says there tends to be an assumption that blacks and Latinos can't or won't pay on their loans. You have people that have really good credit scores and income levels. They're all professionals and still have the stigma, the bias attached to that. Though the Fair Housing Act was signed in 1968, which prohibits discrimination in selling and financing of housing, home ownership rates for blacks and Latinos haven't increased. According to the U.S. Census, 72% of white Americans own their homes compared to 47% of Latinos and 42% of African Americans. And though many people of color say, no doubt, it's difficult for them to get the loans they need in order to open businesses and buy homes, there is one organization in Tampa that's trying to change all of that by making loans more accessible to people who oftentimes are denied by other financial institutions. Why is it important that people of color have access to loans with fair interest rates. Because it's the right thing to do. This is Aixa Antonio Thomas, executive director of Solita's House, a community development financial institution. Her organization gives financial advice and lends money with low interest rates, mostly to people of color. So for you to tell me that just because of what I look like, I may have bad credit or I may be a greater risk to you is ridiculous. This is Dondria Grace, and she's rented all her life. But with the help of Solita's house, she's close to moving into her very own house. With my goal to move forward, become a first-time homeowner. Her house is currently being built. Tell me why a home ownership is, is important to you. You know, I don't have everything that I can think of, but I never had a home. This is how you continue to create wealth. And though Dondria is fortunate to have community advisors, and financial assistance, many other people of color are trying to get mortgages through major lending institutions. Dr. Sundaram says, though there is training on implicit bias, it's difficult to change perspectives and behaviors overnight. In a way, I'm hoping that technology is gonna help reduce some of the bias that we're seeing. Aixa tells me one of the ways to eliminate implicit bias in banking when applying for loans is to know exactly what you qualify for and then arm yourself with information to ensure you get the best deal possible. I'm Anthony Hill reporting.